डॉक्टर महेंद्र यादव प्रिंसिपल ऑफ एम के एस कॉलेज ऑफ लॉ अनदर डिग्नेटरी बिटवीन अस श्री अभिषेक श्रीवास्तव स्टैंडिंग काउंसिल फॉर स्टेट ऑफ यूपी Saurabh Mishra, another good lawyer and a judge in making. Distinguished faculties of various colleges of law. The distinguished faculty of MKES College of Law. Students of law, fellow lawyers. all of you are welcome we are going to talk about bharatiya nyay sanhita 2023 par iski kahani bahut purani hai hmm? 1834 1834 when india was not even ruled by british crown it was ruled by east india company or rather tentacles of east india company was spreading <clears throat> india was divided into three categories of territories british East India Company ruled areas, kingdoms ruled by various Indian royalties, and some foreign occupied nations like French, Dutch, Portuguese areas. So various pockets, and because India had various kingdoms. there was no unified criminal law across india even the map of india which you see today was not the same aise samay mein 1834 the first law commission of india was formed and that law commission was headed by thomas babington macaulay which we now know as lord macaulay lord thomas babington macaulay now he was assigned to accumulate the rules codes and types of define the types of offences and their respective punishments the law commission prepared all these things and submitted the report by then pehla swatantrata sangram 1857 mein bharat mein ho gaya aur uske baad east india company ki vidai ho gayi और ब्रिटिश राज क्वीन के अंडर में भारत में शुरू हो गया 1858 द क्वीन बिकेम द क्वीन ऑफ इंडिया एंड 7th अक्टूबर 1860 इंडियन पीनल कोड वाज प्रमोलगेटेड it was promulgated on 7th october 1860 but enforced from 1st may 1861 jaise bharatiya nyay sanhita 25 december 2023 ko rashtrapati se anumodit ho gaya par lagu hua 
एक जुलाई 2024 से सो हर स्टैट्यूट वन डेट इज प्रोमलगेशन ऑफ दैट स्टैट्यूट द अदर डेट इज वेन इट इज एनफोर्स्ड सो आईपीसी वॉज एनफोर्स फ्रॉम फर्स्ट मे 1861 though it continues to be called as 1860 but because 1867 th october it was crossed ab pauni to so sa 1860 to 1900 to 2023 indian penal code served india quarter to two centuries lagbhag pone 200 saal bharat mein wo kanoon lagu raha yu kehne mein aasan lag raha hai pone 200 saal par samajhiye uski longevity ki kitni generations badal gayi you may remember the birth date of your father or mother how many of you remember the birth date of your grandfather and grandmother and if you remember even that would be remarkable then how many of you can remember the great grandfather and great grandma forget about the birth date how many of you can remember the names और अब मैं पूछूं कि ग्रेट ग्रैंडफादर के फादर और उनकी मदर और ऐसे पीछे जाइए सात आठ नौ पीढ़ी आप में से किसे याद है ना आपके ग्रैंडफादर मदर अपने परिवार की नौ पीढ़ी आपको याद नहीं और वो नौ पीढ़ियों से आईपीसी चला आ रहा है यानी आप के फादर आपके ग्रैंडफादर, ग्रेट ग्रैंडफादर, उनके फादर उनके ग्रैंडफादर, उनके ग्रैंडफादर फादर सब ने ये आईपीसी जाना है और जाना ऐसे कि हमारे सिस्टम में बस गया हम ऑफेंसेस को डिफाइन करने की जगह नंबर से पहचानने लगे इतना सिस्टम का पार्ट बन गया आईपीसी अगर कोई आदमी फ्रॉडिलेंट है चीट है तो हम क्या कहते हैं ये देखिए आपको पता है अभी भारतीय न्याय संहिता में समय लगेगा कि भारतीय न्याय संहिता में फ्रॉड को क्या कहते हैं और देखो सबको नंबर पता है और ये सिर्फ आप लॉ स्टूडेंट्स को नहीं पता है सोसाइटी एट लार्ज को पता है आप बाहर निकलिए चाय वाले से पूछिए ऑटो वाले वो कहते बड़ा चार सौ बीस आदमी और अगर उससे पूछ लीजिए कि भाई साहब ये आदमी की डेफिनेशन में नंबर क्यों दे रहे हो मतलब आयती नहीं पढ़ते है चार सौ बीस आए रच बस गया हमारे अंदर when the law is having such a huge longevity it becomes part of our system a human killing ho jaye to aadmi kehta 302 lag gaya it's a number but you define murder and the punishment of murder is 3 not 2 or 5 pc isn't it so on a lighter note Will it be wrong if I say, एक जुलाई 2024 के बाद भारत में कोई 420 नहीं बचा क्योंकि 420 ही खत्म हो गया अब आ गया भारतीय न्याय संहिता 2023। तो अब अगर आप किसी को फ्रॉड कहना चाहते हैं तो 420 नहीं कह सकते यू कॉन से दट इज फोर ट्वेंटी दस नो फोर ट्वेंटी इन इंडिया एनी मॉ So turn the pages of Bharati Nyaya Sangh and find out what you call now, what number you have to assign to a fraudulent person. Isn't it? I 
BBC had 26 chapters. Originally, it had 23 chapters, but with the amendments, it increased. Three more chapters were added with time. And that's how it became 26 chapters. Overall, if you see, the last section of IPC was 511. So you can say there was 511 sections in IPC, but that's not true. Over the years, by amendments, additions were made, and uh, around 63 more sections were added. So there were, in all, 574 sections in IBC. Now, those who have IPC in their curriculum till last year had to remember 574 sections. For those who are going to study this year, who are going to study Bharati and Yai Saita, those are these, will have to read and study only 358 sections. Bharati and Yai Saita has been streamlined, pruned, skimmed. Now it has only 20 chapters and those 20 chapters also are actually 19 because the last 20th chapter has only one section and that is 358 repeating section. So now we have 19 effective chapters and 358 sections. So as a law student those who have in their curriculum Bharatiya Nyaya Sahita should feel happy that they have to remember only half the sections that their predecessors who had studied 574 sections. But if you are happy, then let me warn you. Beware. Don't be too happy to read only 358 sections because tomorrow if you're going to join bar as a lawyer or you want to join judiciary as a judge the burden is covered because now 358 sections of Bharati Nyaya Sahita effective from 1st July 2024 so if you are a lawyer engaged to lodge a complaint or defend somebody under Bharati and Nyaya Sankha, you have to remember 358 sections of looking to Indian judiciary. Coming 20 years, the backlog is not going to be over. So those matters which are pending will continue. So at least my generation will have to remember 564 plus 358 sections and those of you who are going to become lawyers now for next 20 years or 25 maybe, they'll also be burdened by both the acts. So tighten up your gears, your belts and ready to fly. Isn't it amazing? Parliament of India is so kind towards us. They said 574 and you claim to be a lawyer? 358 more. And to add up all, today we are talking only on Bharati Nyaya Sahita. In the coming days, if Mahendra calls me, we will talk about Bharati Nagarik Suraksha Sahita, which has been increased from 481 to 531, 484 to 531. So it has already increased sections. And then Bharati Saksha Dhiniyam, which was 166, has become 170 plus schedule. So things are growing. India is growing. 
the kind scene of India is growing. And what is growing in the crime scene in India and the predominant nature of change in the crime is now we are facing digital crimes, electronic crimes. And that is what is taken care of in Bharati Nyasarita, which was not there in the IBC. Because that was not the era of digital crime. Lord Macaulay did not have these kind of situations of digital crimes, electronic crimes, electronic communications. In fact, when I studied law, there was no digital era. We did not have even computers, we did not have even photocopy machines. When I began my study of law, we as a junior used to send to library to study for 12 hours to just find out one citation of utility in the court. And then we did not have photocopy machines, so we used to put carbons on the typewriter and to take that carbon copies. And there's one mistake, we have to retype it again. So that was when I began my practice and since then a lot of transformation has happened in the world today. I feel like a celebrity every morning when I'm flooded with WhatsApp messages of good morning, Uhta Suraj, Dukta Suraj, Kool Ka Patta, Ye, Gulab. I never knew I was so popular till WhatsApp arrived in my life. This is a digital world for you, isn't it? Aap sab mehsus kar rahe Trust me, I'm planning to keep a man to just delete his WhatsApp. How many can I delete every day? It consumes time. Then there is one more fashion which is all of you must be experiencing that people forward things. Whatever is received by them, they want to trouble others. Hamko kuch mila nahi ki hamari jimmedari hai ki sabko mile. Aur abhi tu mein notice kar raha hu ki request bhi hoti hai usne. Please don't ignore this, huh? Please don't. Please watch it till end. I mean, is it my choice or yours? I have my wife to dominate me. Now, please stop the spare me. You also start dominating me. Please till end. Now, this is going to be kind and the bad thing I say. That's why I'm happy. अब आप में से कोई भेजे भर मुझे और मैं भारतीय न्याय संहिता में कंप्लेंट करूंगा सो गिव वे बिफोर फॉरवर्डिंग सच मैसेजेस एंड इंपोजिंग योर विल ऑन दी अदर्स टू प्लीज रीड इट टू प्लीज डोंट इग्नोर इट टू प्लीज सी इट टिल द एंड आई दिस इज गोइंग टू बी क्राइम एंड रिमेंबर it is not only those who generate these messages, even forwarding is now punishable offense. If it is containing rumor or objectionable material, anti-national material, anti-religious material, creating enmity between two communities, all these kinds of messages, this is one category. Then other category is that when I began my practice, lawyers were blacklisted by banks unofficially. We were not entitled even to get a credit card. 
unofficially banks used to feel that lawyer ye nahi chuka payega isko loan de nahi hai aur chukane ke liye jayenge kahan court mein ye to wahi baithe hain aadmi ghar dhamki deta hai acha mujhse kahunga court mein nahi sikhe aur ye to court mein baithe hain इनको कहां घसी कहेंगे तो लॉयर्स को कोई लोन नहीं देता था क्रेडिट कार्ड के लिए मैं एंटाइटल नहीं था एक बार पेट्रोल पंप पे मेरी गाड़ी खड़ी हुई है क्रेडिट कार्ड बेचने वाला आ गया सर आपका नाम आपका पता नहीं है भाई मेहनत मत करो दूसरे गाड़ियों में अपना टाइम लगा मैं लॉयर हूं अच्छा लॉयर है चला गया <laughs> ये स्थिति से डिजिटल इंडिया की दूसरी आपको मैं खूबी बता रहा हूं टूडे आई एम फ्लडेड बाई एप्लीकेशन से लोन चाहिए दिन में आठ दस मैसेज आ जाते हैं यू आर एंटाइटल फॉर लोन योर लोन इज ऑलरेडी अप्रूव यू क्लिक एंड टेक इतना लोन देने को कार्य हुई होगा मैं इतना सडनली क्रेडिबिलिटी बढ़ गई मेरी जब लोन चाहिए था तो दिया नहीं अब नहीं चाहिए तो पीछे पड़े और डिजिटल आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड विदाउट मी अप्लाइंग फॉर लोन हाउ माई लोन इज अप्रूव दिस इज अनदर डिजिटल एंड इन टेलीविजन न्यूज यू मस्ट बी witnessing nowadays there is digital arrest happening this is a new phenomenon people are calling you and saying that you are under digital arrest and then they are siphoning off money from you using fear psychosis and this is a prevalent phenomenon nowadays the people get afraid Now all this was not there in IPC, and therefore we need a new law to address the change in the crime scene, to define the offences which were not defined in IPC, and therefore, ladies and gentlemen, Bharati Nyaya Sahita 2023 came into being. 20th December 2023 was passed in Lok Sabha. 21st December 2023 was passed in Rajya Sabha, and 25th December 2023 it got assent from the President of India. An enforceability date was fixed for 1st July 2024. And mind you, this was a second amendment because first draft was submitted in August 2023. Then it was withdrew because was first draft was presented before the Lok Sabha. It was sent to the Select Committee of the Home Affairs, seeking recommendations and changes. And after the recommendations were received, second amendment was presented in December 2023. So what changed? Important changes is changes are. <clears throat> around 41 punishments are increased around 85 offenses which had fine amount that fine amount is increased fine amount of around 81 offenses because ipc had that fine amount of 200 rupees fine 100 rupees fine which was not deterrent anymore because 200 at the time of lord macaulay must be exorbitant amount today it was like chai pani ka matlab पुलिसमैन को भी 
तोड़ पानी करने का मार्जिन नहीं था अब तो सौ में से कितना कम करे क्योंकि 200 तो रिसीट कौन के फाइन हो जाएगा अगर कोई कहे सर रिसीट मत बनाओ ऐसे ही दे तो ले लो तो कितना काम करेगा हम्म तो अब बढ़ा दिया फाइन ठीक है ना एट्टी वन क्राइम्स द फाइन इज इंक्रीज and some new offenses have been introduced for example there were only five types of punishments prevailing in india i'm sure you must be aware the law students five types of punishments were death penalty life sentence simple imprisonment rigorous imprisonment and fine five types of punishments were there prevalent now one more type of punishment is added under section 4 f of bharatiya nyay sahita that is community service now interesting aspect is that do this community service as a punishment is added parliament in its wisdom did not define it subharti nayak sankar does not define what is community service it simply says that one of the punishment is community service so the community service if you find some definition you will find in bharati nagrik suraksha sanhita in sub section 2 of section or explanation of section 23 there they have said that service to society without remuneration is community service but then what are the services hmm? as a punishment now it is left to judiciary to decide it will be a discretion of the judge whatever he feels community service he can impose that community service he can ask you to plant trees from there he can ask you to whitewash the peeling wall of the court मेरे कोर्ट की दीवार की पुताई करो पेंट करो ये कम्युनिटी सर्विस एनीथिंग इज कम्युनिटी सर्विस अंडर द सन बिकॉज इट इज नॉट डिफाइंड इट इज लेफ्ट टू जुडिशरी टू डिसाइड हो सकता है सड़क पर झाड़ू लगाओ नाली साफ करो सैनिटेशन हो सकता है आने वाले समय में जब आपको कम्युनिटी सर्विस की पनिशमेंट हो तो आप कहें नहीं मुझे तो कैद कर दो मैं ये नहीं कर सकता पॉसिबल है आपके लाइकिंग की कम्युनिटी सर्विस नहीं है तो आप मना करेंगे तो अगर आप मना करते हैं और आप वो कम्युनिटी सर्विस नहीं करते जो पनिशमेंट आपको अवॉर्ड हुई है अगर वो आप नहीं करते हैं तो क्या होगा जैसे इफ फॉर एन ऑफेंस देर इज अ पनिशमेंट ऑफ इंप्रिजनमेंट एंड फाइन और बोथ इन मोस्ट ऑफ दीसी सेक्शन यू सी दैट एंड देर इज अ प्रोविजन इन सीआरपीसी दैट इफ समबडी डज नॉट पे द फाइन देन इंक्रीज द पनिशमेंट ऑफ इंप्रिजनमेंट फॉर वन मंथ टू मंथ अनफॉर्चुनेटली फॉर कम्युनिटी सर्विस ऑफ फेल्योर टू डू कम्युनिटी सर्विस there is no provision as to what will happen hmm to samaj sevi to taiyar karega court par nahi ki samaj seva to to abhi it is left for interpretation to the courts 
and whatever I could study, I find out. That then section 24 of BNSS, Bharati Nagarik Suraksha Sankha, may be applicable, similar to that of non-payment of fine. That provision will be borrowed if you do not do the community service, then that kind of alternative punishment will be granted to you. But this is one lacuna which is left. Then what transformed in Bharati and Nyaya Sahita is that if you have, any of you have read in Indian Penal Code, the general explanations were given up to section 52a. Now those general explanations were nothing but definitions of offences and other things. Now all these definitions which were, each definition was given one separate section in IPC is now comprised under section 2 of the alphabetical product. So now all 52 definitions have come under section 2. This is how IPC is streamlined to 358 sections. So 52 sections suddenly section number 2. Right. Thereafter punishments, general exceptions. Then if you remember, there was a provision called abetment from 109 of the IPC onwards and then after abetment was conspiracy under section 20A and 20, 120B and then attempt to commit punishment was 511. Now all this is comprised into one, so now it has been brought under the same chapter abetment, conspiracy and attempt became chapter 4 of the Bharati Nyaya Sahita. Then chapter 5 is the most important chapter which is introduced in Bharati Nyaya Sahita which was not there in IPC. And this is the lengthiest chapter of Bharati Nyaya Sahita. And that chapter is offences against women and children. Now most of the offences which are being brought into chapter 5 were there in IPC but scattered across IPC. So now th those scattered provisions are brought under one umbrella of chapter 5. And those offences under IPC which were introduced with time with section A, B, A, B, B, A, C, now all these are streamlined. For example, if you talk about rape, original IPC had only 375, 376. But with amendments, 376A, 376B, 376BA, 376C, multiple categories were added. Now all these are streamlined and 11 sections have been brought straight line from section 63 to 73 for rape. So your first four chapters end with section 1 to section 62. And chapter 5 begins from section 63 and goes up to section 99. This is the lengthiest chapter of Bharati Nyaya Sahita, offenses relating to women and children. Now for your convenience, I have classified this chapter also into five categories. Four categories are offences against women and one classification is offences against children. So what are the four classific internal classifications of chapter 5? First is 
rape. Offenses against women, rape. That goes from 63 to 73. Second was sexual harassment and outraging the modesty of women, molestation, etc. Which was already there in IPC, but 354A, 354B, C, D, etc. Now all that has been brought here from section 74 onwards. So now you have sexual harassment, outraging the modesty of women, then disrobing, attempt to disrobe, voyeurism, stalking, all these offences against women are brought in this chapter into the second classification. The third is offences related to marriage. Now, offences related to marriage was also there in IPC, but at the end of IPC, 494, 495, 496, up to 498A, dowry death, etc. That's what I said. These offences were there in IPC, but scattered. So they have been also brought into the third classification of offences against women. That is called offences related to marriage. And the fourth category is that of offences related to causing miscarriage, which was also there in IPC for causing miscarriage. Now it has been brought in the fourth classification of Bharati Nyaya Sahita. And the fifth category is offences against children. So offences against children from 92 to 99. Now in this chapter number 5, although two developments happen, first new chapter introduced, picking and choosing scattered section of IPC, bringing them into one umbrella, and the other two new sections are introduced. And those two new sections are, first, Section 69. This was not there in IPC. 69 is sexual relationship by a deceitful means. Now, what is deceitful means? That means somebody who allows a lady by giving false promises that he is going to marry her and then creates a relationship and the lady gives her consent under the confidence that he is going to be my husband. So this is a sexual relationship by a deceitful means, which was not there in IPC. And when I read it, I'm just sharing my thoughts, though you will not find it in Bharati and Hansen. It was my thought that probably section 69 is an offshoot of section 299 of the IPC. If you remember 299, it is culpable homicide not amounting to murder. Now, 69 is somewhat same nature, is a sexual intercourse not amounting to rape. Because in rape, element of force is there. That if a sexual intercourse happens with force, then it is rape. Here, there is no element of force, there is an element of consent, but still it is a kind of rape because through deceitful means. So the concept which is borrowed is 
culpable homes there also killing is happening but it is not murder here also rape is happening uh, sexual intercourse is happening but it is not rape so it's quite similar analogy which has been borrowed and brought into section 69 then one more section in offenses against children is 95 because recently a phenomena has been brought to the notice that people are committing offense through children because children get scot free not to undergo the grind of the actual criminal justice school they will be treated under juvenile justice or other set up of courts so this was noticed that people in the crime scene are quite innovative they are using children target killing through a child and then they behind they remain behind the curtain so this was not addressed in ipc so section 95 has been brought for misusing children for committing offense hmm? then offenses against human body offenses against human body used to begin from section 299 of the ipc now begins from section 100 and 47 sections are dedicated to offenses against human body because it runs up to section 146 of the bharatiya nyay samhita rules are these and what was offenses against property in ipc if you see offenses against property chapter 17 remains chapter 17 of bharatiya nyay samhita 2023 also but a lot of pruning had happened so the sections are reduced Now what changes? An important change is offenses against human body. Section one zero three sub clause two is added. Now what is one zero three sub clause two? And whenever you are reading section one zero three sub clause two of the DNS. Read it with section one one seven sub clause four. So one hundred and three sub clause two should be read with section one hundred and seventeen of sub clause four. Why? I'll tell you. Because this is a new addition, new provision that is called when more than five persons. injure one person and inflict grievous hurt to that person that will be taken care of under section 103 sub clause 2 but if more than five persons keep hitting that person and kill him that will be taken care under 117 sub clause 4 and what is this do not term as such mob lynching which was not there in ipc when the crowd hits somebody so in dns this word mob lynching is not used and you may not find any section if you go through index and all you will not find where is mob lynching because it is hidden somewhere in 103 sub clause 2 and 117 sub clause 4 hmm and this is a new phenomena mob lynching as i said digital crimes are new phenomena mob lynch suddenly the indians there's a metamorphosis change in our mindset our thinking 
Suddenly the Indians are very angry. Very annoyed. For what? I don't know. Oh, we are very frustrated. Extremely irritated. हम आप सब सड़क पर चलते हैं और कैसे कैसे चलते हैं ये अपने आप में एक कमाल है क्योंकि अक्सर मेरे सामने ऐसा नजारा आता है कि मेरी गाड़ी के सामने से कोई मोबाइल पर बात करता हुआ निकल रहा है और अगर गलती से मेरे ड्राइवर ने हॉर्न बजा दिया तो ऐसे देखता है यानी कि वो तो अपने लिविंग रूम में घूम रहा था और आप गाड़ी लेके आ रहे एंड इफ माई ड्राइवर रिया तब तो युद्ध होना ही है सो आई हैव ट्रेन माई ड्राइवर नॉट टू होम हम बड़ी गुजर मोबाइल फोन पता नहीं यू एनओ में बात हो रही हो तुम फोन में जा रहे उनकी कोई डिग्निटी मीटिंग हो कुछ भी कौन कह सकता है बिकॉज इफ यू डिस्टर्ब इज सो एंग्री और फोन पे किससे बात हो रही है भारतीयों की मुझे अब तक नहीं समझ में आया क्योंकि मैं वो सहरा था हूं जब हमारे यहां लैंडलाइन भी नहीं थी और लैंडलाइन के एप्लीकेशन करते थे तो आठ नौ साल बाद नंबर आता था वो काले फोन का जिसमें आधे टाइम तो वो डिस्कनेक्ट कर रहता था और अभी सबके जेब में वो आए और सब बातें कर रहे किससे कर रहे हैं पता नहीं और सुबह छह बजे से कर रहे हैं और रात के बारह बजे तक कर रहे हैं इतना सीरियस टॉक्स हो रही है कि सड़क भी पार करने टाइम भी वो ब्रेक नहीं हो सकते तो रेलवे ट्रैक पार करने में भी ब्रेक नहीं हो सकती ट्रेन पकड़ते पकड़ते भी बात चालू है आई डोंट अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इन सीरियस बिजनेस इज गोइंग ऑन अक्रॉस इंडिया एंड इफ यू जस्ट टेल देम की अरे भाई क्या कर इतने गुस्से में कुछ लोग तो इतने गुस्से में कि उनको गुस्सा उतारने का मौका नहीं मिल रहा कहीं तो उन्होंने देखा कि भीड़ में कोई एक दूसरे से लड़ रहा वो भी जाके लड़ते हैं और फिर दो चार पांच मिलके एक आदमी को फिर बाद में पूछते भाई क्यों मार रहा अच्छा क्यों मार रहे भाई उसको दूसरे क्यों मार रहे पता नहीं ये सब मार रहे थे अपने भी मारा और मारते मारते उसको मार डाला और हो गई नो बडी नोज क्यों हो रहा है तो लॉर्ड नकोले के साम समय ऐसा नहीं हो रहा था शायद तो उन्होंने ये प्रोविजन नहीं बनाया अभी हम भारतीय बहुत गुस्से में हैं हुँ? तो अब मॉब लिंचिंग आ गया तो बी वे बिना जाने बिना पूछे अपनी खुजली मत मिटाना नहीं तो 103 नहीं तो 117 कुछ भी लग जाएगा एंड देन यू विल लैंड टू चतुर्वेदी साहब ऑफिस टू डिफेंड मी डोंट डू दिस बी काम मुझे देखो कोई कह सकता है सुबह नाश्ता कम डांट ज्यादा खाता हूं डांट खा के घर से निकलता हूं लौटते लौटते फिर तैयारी रहती है फिर डांट पड़ेगी कौन क्वाइट एक्सेप्टेड फैक्ट इट मूविंग फॉर थ्री मोर प्रोविजन हैपी वन मोर नेग्लिजेंस वन जीरो सिक्स सब क्रॉस टू हैज बीन इंट्रोड्यूस इन भारतीय न्याय संहिता दैट इज रैशन नेग्लिजेंट ड्राइविंग the if the driver after committing rash and negligent driving leaves the crime scene without informing to the police then the punishment is 10 years so that means if at all any road accident happens the driver of the vehicle has to rush to the nearest police station and inform the policeman that this accident has happened for me now there is if you remember in the news there were things that earlier the provision was that he should have to take the victim to the hospital that has been changed 
from victim taking to hospital is you rushing to police station. Because most of the drivers said that if we stop at the spot of accident, we will be victim of mob lynching. Our vehicle will be in danger, my life will be in danger, we can't stop at the crime scene. So now it has been changed that you have to rush to the nearest police station to inform our police officer say, hey, but you don't have to be a crime. Okay? That is 106 sub plus 2. And in 106, doctors have been given a little advantage that if there is a criminal negligence while treatment or surgery, then the punishment will be two years. Because of the philosophy that no doctor treats to kill. There can be a negligence. And if there is an agreement of negligence, not mens rea or intention, that he should not be punished for 10 years, he should be punished for 2 years. Then three more sections have been added, which were not there in IPC. Section 111, 112 and 113 of Bharatiya Sahita. 111, 112, 113. And these are, 111 is organized crime. 112 is petty organized crime and 113 is terrorism. Now what is organized crime? Organized crime is that when you do, a, you commit a crime in a gang, not individually. If you make a team or a group or a gang and then commit a crime, that is organized crime. Now, under 111, heinous organized crimes like target killing, bombing, then uh, narcotics, then human trafficking, all these grave crimes are section 111 of PNS. And petty organized crime is where there is found out that there are gangs operating for petty crimes also like pickpocketing. It's a petty offense but organized crime. So it is considered as a petty organized crime under 112. Theft, etc. And the third is terrorism. When you use means of terror to commit a crime. That is 113. These are all additions into Bharati Nyaya Sankar, which was not there in IPC. There was a provision in IPC by the name sedition under section 124A. Now what was sedition? That was a British era provision that if you are indulging into any activity against the government, then you must be punished. So you can't act against British government. BNS dropped that provision because this provision did not match or gel with democracy. In democracy, we are entitled to criticize the government. We can condemn the government. And if we are condemning the government, can you put me behind the bars for sedition? So what kind of a democracy is this? So in democracy, Criticizing and condemning the government is my right. Therefore, sedition is removed. Now, you can condemn the government, you can criticize the government, you can critically examine the performance of the government. So, 124 is removed, but a new provision is introduced under section 152, 152. 
and that is if you indulge in any anti national activity then shall be punished so anti government is allowed but anti india sorry not allowed so sedition was rajdroha but what has been replaced now from rajdroh to rashtroh so now rashtroh is punishable offense rajdroh is your democratic right is it clear so 152 replacing 124 a hmm then Section three zero nine is removed. Three zero nine of IPC. ये बड़ा interesting section था. आप में से कोई बता सकता है क्या था ये? Abetment to commit suicide. और क्यों interesting था? क्योंकि अगर ये crime आप commit कर लें तो कोई problem. और नहीं कर पाए? तुम सुसाइड करने गए थे ना यस yes. नहीं मरे आ जाओ जेल में ये कमाले मतलब क्राइम कर देते ना गए थे तो क्यों नहीं मरे मर जाते तो कोई बात नहीं तुमने अटेम्प्ट किया और सक्सीड नहीं किया आई पी सी डिड नॉट लाइक इट Now BNS removed this, but they have brought a new provision called Section Two Twenty Six. Instead of attempt to commit suicide, which is removed now, a new provision under Section Two Twenty Six has been brought, threatening to commit suicide, to restrain a public servant. From doing his public duty, threatening to commit suicide to restrain a public servant from doing his public duty. अब सोच के देखो ये भी फैशन है भारत में छोटी छोटी बात पे आदमी धमकियां दे रहा है मान लो आपने रेड सिग्नल में गाड़ी पार्क कर दी जो कि आप सब करते हैं अक्सर क्योंकि बॉम्बे का एक रूल है हम सिग्नल नहीं देखते रेड है कि ग्रीन है कि हम पुलिस वाला देखते हैं नहीं है ना चलो 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 और है तो ग्रीन में भी रुक जाएंगे अच्छा ठीक है ना ये बॉम्बे के लोगों का एक फिनोमेना है लॉ अबाइडिंग ओनली लिमिटेड टू यूनिफॉर्म नॉट टू द सिग्नल इज इट ट्रू अब मान लीजिए पुलिसमैन कहीं छिपा हुआ है आपने देखा नहीं देखा आपने रेड में पार कर लिया और वो प्रकट हो गया या दूध की तरह फंस गए फंस गए और वो चालान काट रहा है ही इज डूइंग हिज पब्लिक ड्यूटी ही इज अ पब्लिक सर्वेंट वॉट इफ यू स्टार्ट थ्रेटनिंग आपने चालान काटा ना तो हम आत्महत्या कर लेंगे आई एम जस्ट गिविंग यू फनी एन एट बट दीज थिंग्स On a larger scale, is happening. Suppose encroachment drive removal encroachment is happening. Most of the people come on the road. We will die. As if encroaching a public property is their birthright, and you're removing, I'll die. 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 बेचारे पब्लिक सर्विस डर जाते हैं क्या भाई ऐसे मत करो रो रो 
जहां रह रहे वही हो नाउ टू ट्वेंटी सिक्स टेक्स केयर ऑफ दैट दैट इफ यू थ्रेट एम अ पब्लिक सर्वेंट टू कमिट सुसाइड टू रेस्ट्रेन हिम फ्रॉम कमिट डूइंग हिज ओन ड्यूटी देन इट इज एन ऑफेंस दिस वॉज नॉट देर इन आई पी सी राइट then one more section has been added is section 304 304 is snatching snatching was also not there in ipc most policemen were uh, troubled to put that snitching incident into theft most of the time it was reported in theft but theft is different than snatching because snatching is kisi ki aapne chain snatching kar li kisi ka purse chhin liya किसी का बैग छीन के भाग गए ओ दिस इज स्नैचिंग राइट सो स्नैचिंग हैज ऑल्सो बी ब्रॉट इन टू भारतीय न्याय संहिता दैट इज अंडर सेक्शन थ्री जीरो फोर एंड वन मोर फिनल चेंज विच हैज हैपन इन टू बी एन एस फ्रॉम आई पी सी इज दैट ऑल द कॉलोनियल टर्मिनोलॉजी एंड एक्सप्रेशन आर रिमूव because ipc ip hello ipc continued to have those colonial expressions like queen crown british parliament commonwealth all that is now removed there was an expression called british india now that is removed. even the definition of india is removed because we don't need a definition of india today if we know what is india earlier we wanted to know that what was india means the british territory the british provinces rest of the territory was not india so it, it needed to define india but today it is not required we know also india definition is also removed multiple definitions which are given so overall in dns today there are only 39 definitions left and From 1st July 2024, Bharatiya Nyaya Sangha 2023 is enforced, and now most of the offences of BNS have become the definition and offence provisions of the crime scene of India. I'm happy that. Mahendra has invited me to address you all, and I hope that you have gained something today about Bharatiya Nyaya Sangha. It is an honor and privilege to have been invited to address you all, and I hope that I am invited again for other provisions of law as well. But before I part, I want to give you three informations. Please make a note. First of all, I know that in a little time, whatever I could, I have given to you. But this is not enough. So you may have more confusions, more problems, more questions in your mind. for that we have created a research team in our office and you can put your queries and questions on email please note down the email id s for sugar c for chandigarh again c for chandigarh advocates s c c advocates A B P O C A T E S at the rate gmail dot com. S C C advocates at the rate gmail dot com. If you have any confusions, questions, queries, you can mail it to this office, email ID, and in all probabilities, within forty eight hours, you will get your response, free of cost, no charges. this facility is for all the practicing lawyers judges and law students totally free of cost the second thing 
In case if you still do not get satisfaction through the response of email, you can call me directly and talk to me on a phone number 98210-100-59. Where only condition is that if you want to talk to me personally, you will have to drop in a mail on that email ID seeking an appointment of a conference with me or telephonic conferences. The office will allot you the date and time on which if you will call, I will personally attend your call and talk to you. But be there, don't send me WhatsApp. <laughs> and the third thing which I wanted to tell you is that if you want to hear more such speeches, talks and lectures on these various topics of law, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel, Puneet Chaturvedi Advocate, P-U-N-E-T-C-H-A-T-U-R-V-E-D-I, Advocate. There are more than 200-250 speeches on various topics of law are available. You can take advantage of it. With this, thank you so much and I'm really happy. Jai Hind. Thank you.